live Ta-da. on Monday night. <laughs> Monday night football. It's Monday night. It's Monday night. Monday night. Monday night live. Here we are. And guess oh well, guess who's here next to me um, in person? Hey, it's John. Um, you could probably scoot up a little bit there, John. Get a little closer. Get a little cozy. Nice and cozy. Yeah. We're live here on um, Monday Whoa. Night YouTube. Dodgers are not going down. Thank you very much. Really? <laughs> I think they are. Um, yeah, we got um, some Dodger fans, some Houston fans out there. So mm. um, it was an awesome game. John missed it. He went to bed last night. Uh, somebody else went to bed last night. Missed it, I saw on here. Yeah. Um, the responsible ones. <laughs> so our topic tonight, Monday night, is... Um, is scary stories. We have some scary stories to go over and some safety tips so um, that relate to those scary stories. So hopefully we can give you some advice um, and not get injured, not get hurt. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, I think we've, we've talked about a few of them, you know, in the past on our live show, but um, we've got some new ones to be talking about tonight. So, and we got some pretty cool giveaways tonight. Um, we got uh, um, you, that one box. We got to open that box um, here. So we'll have to, John's got his little computer here. Tonight, we're going to be giving away, we always like giving away really cool things, cool swag. We got Andrew Slovasek. Um, where's your spray tan, John? He wants to know. <laughs> yeah, we're still working on that. We're, we're, it's getting winter time, so we're going to bust it out because um, he needs his tan for winter time. Going to be giving away a Titan spray guide tonight. Um, things like a $75 spray guide. So anybody wants that we're giving away the corner plus rollers so if you guys don't know about these things i'm sure mostly people do but um because we've used them you know um i think we use them live or in one of our videos and people keep asking me where do you get them cornerroller.com and this is one of those things i don't understand why nobody didn't invent this like years ago i mean like 50 years ago 50 years ago i mean really like why didn't purdy like in it like the day they came out with the rollers. You know, that's I, okay. It's the craziest thing. So the rollers just um, just it wraps around, all the way around. So it's it's absolutely amazing. You don't have to um, brush the corners. And it truly, truly works. Um, Shad Owen, thank you very much um, for the super Shad. chat. We got two super chats, Andrew Slovasek and Shad. I saw Andrew either on um, my live Facebook or Instagram today, earlier. So we're gonna be giving away um, corner rollers and they get me a big old huge box of them. I don't know, must've been like 50 of them or so. And they didn't pay me to do this or say this. They just- They're just awesome. They're just awesome. They and, <laughs> and we're just giving to give them away. So um, we're giving away a couple of those, but we have this box and this is really cool. We're gonna, um, right here, we're gonna unbox this thing. You gotta check this thing out. So um, it's the clean and roll. You can see right here Damn. and um, yeah, it's a way that you can clean your rollers fast. And when they when they they sent me this thing, um, they sent me one. I got it in the mail, and it was interesting. I opened it up, and I'm just I was asking myself because when people send me stuff, they send me I get stuff sent all the time. To want people want me to test it and make videos, and I always ask myself, you know, what um, what problem is this tool or device resolving? What problem is it solving? And so. If it's not resolving or solving a problem, it's like, what's the point of it? And so I looked at it and I was just trying to figure out, I was like, you know, um, you, why? And and it was interesting. It was this, you know, bigger device. And it was like, you know, where am I going to put my van and stuff like that? And so I kind of just set it aside. But um, then uh, I didn't test it out. I didn't use it. And I told John to take it out and um, give it a try. And John came back to me and said, um, dude, it's like totally cool. It works. <laughs> it actually works. It actually works. And then he, John told me it's like really cool. And I'm like, really? And so, um, yeah. And then the company contacted me. And I'm like, and I emailed them and said, um, yeah, we're like really interested in testing this thing out. And so they sent me um, more of them. And we're going to be giving away one tonight. And um, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting timing too, because I did. I don't want to slice John's arm. I feel arm. like there's a lot of trust right here right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not cut your arm off. Yeah. And I don't know if this Speaking is like of safety tips. OSHA approved. <laughs> um, this isn't a box knife. So, this isn't um, on the job, so it's okay. We're truly opening this thing. I don't even know. I think there's. Here we go. We'll break one of them out. There's. Um, there's three of them in there. 
So we're going to give one away on our live show tonight. They sent us one to give away. It's called the Clean and Roll. So um, I think um, we'll have to open one of them up here. And John can open it up there. And so, the, I mean, what the heck does this thing do? So you stick a roller in there, a nine inch roller. And since we've got a nine inch roller right here, we can throw it on there and it cleans it. It uses water to clean it. And I did an Instagram video just recently and it had thousands and thousands of views and I just got butchered on it because, you know, I wasn't Mr. Environmentally Safe. And, um, and this actually would um, help resolve that problem. And, um, and maybe um, me not get so butchered on Instagram, but there's it was because I never thought about it. It's kind of I handed it off to John, told John to go take it, and, and he came in and told me one thing. He told me, and I was like, "Blam!" The light bulb went on, and and I was like, "Oh my gosh, you're right, John. John's right." And John said, "You can in the winter time when it's snowing outside, we can't clean our stuff outside because it snows." And here's the weird thing: when you clean a roller like we do in the snow, it stains the snow. And then if the snow doesn't it melt, look good. Yeah, yeah, you got like what blue snow for the next like month or so, um, like last year. So here it is. So John said you can clean in a sink, right? You yeah. said something like that. Yeah, just take a little, you know, one of those sink adapters and you pop it up on your sink faucet and plug it in here and now you, you can clean your your rollers in the sink and it's like like i don't know about you guys but like i've tried to figure out how to do this for years and they never knew how like uh, how would you do that and right. i always hated cleaning rollers in the winter time because it's such a mess it's freezing cold outside your hands hurt everything's being frozen and to me this is just like this would actually work especially in the winter time super yeah. useful yeah, so we have we, um, we we haven't like fully tested it out yet. I know John, you just took it out and used it, I think, once. Um, yeah, yeah, I cleaned and, a um, of rollers with it. Yeah. yeah, so and you know we're gonna be testing it out this week and using it a bunch, and um, we're gonna try to do a live show using it and um, testing it out more. But we're gonna give one away tonight, and then we're gonna give one away on um, one of our live shows or um, one of our social medias. You gotta follow us on Pinterest. Instagram or Facebook um, or LinkedIn because we're going to be giving away. We've got to pick where we're going to give it away somewhere on there. It's a so it's a surprise. But we are on Pinterest, so it could be on Pinterest. And a lot of you may not know, but um, we're Pinterest, which is Idaho Painters. Um, Instagram is Idaho Painter. Facebook is The Idaho Painter. And LinkedIn, I think, is Idaho Painters. So um, we're all over all that stuff. So it's interesting. Bam. Here you go. Um, it just slides on there. So how does it work, John? So there's a little adjustment on the top where you can adjust for whatever your nap is from uh, 3 8 half inch all the way up to 3 quarter. You plug the hose into it, so either a garden hose or, uh, like I said, I think it would be really handy to go from a sink faucet into this so that you could just drain it into the sink, and you pull the trigger. And that's it. It just, <laughs> that, really, that's, it's, it's that simple. And yeah. it it, uh, it shoots some jets at the roller and spins the roller. All the dirty water comes out, and then it keeps spinning. Um, it, it doesn't, like when we use a hose, uh, usually there's enough pressure that it can keep the thing spinning, and the, the weave on the, the pile on the nap kind of flares out. It doesn't get spinning like super fast where it does that, but it gets it way cleaner than you could just scrub in a roller in a sink yeah. way cleaner yeah i don't know i mean I, I don't know if you'd like if you're just scrubbing the roller in the sink without this just by hand i don't know how you could possibly get it clean enough but because no, those silly little like hand roller things yeah. just don't work and then they're and then it's going to splatter all over the sink and everything still on the sidewalls this thing i think it, i mean it's just you, if you just kept it low enough all the water is just going to funnel out the bottom yeah and um so I, I used it you know we tested it out the one time i was just out there just briefly we were testing it leaving a job site and it just kind of all the water just yeah just kind of spins around and comes out in one stream right there at the bottom and it's it's clean you're not getting you know even like when we're cleaning outside and we've got the bucket and the hose nozzle like 
I, we always laugh when the new guys start doing it because inevitably they come back and they've got this big roller spray of like dirty paint exactly. water going up their face and they've ruined a shirt on their first day. Yeah. Hey, new guy. Hey, right. And it's kind of this running joke. But yeah. it really, with something like this, that's not a problem because it just spins and then it comes out and you can drain it right into a bucket or yeah. whatever. And, so, and here's an, you know, another thing. Like you know, on my Instagram video, how I was cleaning my rollers and naps, I kind of got um, you know, butchered by um, some people environmentalists and stuff like that and um because i was cleaning them and it's just going right into the grass with this thing so if you're if you live in california where it's illegal to clean them in the grass um mm -hmm. clean them out in the dirt and stuff like that or even other countries um you just take this thing hook your water to it put it in a five gallon bucket it will clean this roller i don't know how much water it, it would take um would you could you estimate yeah, how much water it would take I'd to clean have it? to test it i'd say probably half gallon maybe a gallon give or give or take i think it depends on obviously it always depends on what product you're using and how much tint there is and things like that yep so you can, I, to me, there's, if you're using lambs roll rollers, some expensive rollers, this really serves a purpose because mm -hmm. you definitely don't want to throw them away because you can use them multiple. I mean, we, we use our rollers like 10 times. Yeah, you, even if you don't, even if you are, I have never really understood that because it does add up. Like you, yeah. you can clean a roller so fast and, or you can spend three or four bucks on another one. And yeah, because it, it takes, um, like some of the, like the lambs roll rollers, like $5, six, seven dollars something like that. And you you're finished it it does make a huge difference using a good quality roller and cleaning them i uh this thing or the, the method we clean them i think it's about 30 seconds to clean one yeah literally 30 Super seconds fast. yeah so you can clean it in 30 seconds so 30 seconds is worth your time yeah to... you, you can't tell me it's not worth your time like, right you'd have to be making charging a lot per hour for yeah. that to not be worth your time it's just you gotta you gotta do it or have a helper do it and i know some somebody um asked me just recently on social media how many times how many uses can you get out of one of these and i think i replied back uh 10 times i think i mean how many times do you think you could use a roller cleaning it you know our method that method i mean you know i know that's one of the big differences between like a, a lamb's wool roller and a, a like a polyester or a synthetic roller is is how the the lamb's wool lasts a lot longer and um, you know, with the, the synthetic ones, yeah, probably 10 ish times. I think we've got some that we've pushed past that when we need to, but, uh, we try not to. Yeah. So, um, there you go. We're going to be giving away, you know, a couple of these rollers are going to give away the Titan, um, spray guide, and we're going to give away one of these things on our live show. They sent us three of them. We're going to be testing another one out and then we're going to give away another one. These things, if you want to know how much they cost, I went and looked it up on the website. They're, um, $39.99. And tonight we have a coupon code that you can get uh, $10 off one of these things. They gave me a coupon code. So if you use the coupon code, um, Idaho, um, I D A H O Idaho, the state where we're from. They'll give you ten dollars off on their website, and their website twenty five percent um, off. Twenty five percent. Um, yeah, I went and looked at the website, and I wrote um, all my notes. Um, it was like the Pamrick thing. They had a simpler website. Awesome. And, um, it's written down. It was a lot simpler. Um, clean and roll. It's clean and roll dot net. So um, so and clean C L E A N um, N roll. Dot net. Um, I'll actually, I'll write it, type it down right here. Go to the website, see how I just looked it up tonight, and it's a cool website, clean and roll, uh, dot net. Bam. There you go. Go to that website, and if you want to purchase one, give them a try, test them out. Um, if you're you know, one of those people that lives in California or one of the, I don't know how many states do that where it's illegal to clean them out, and I, I had no idea it was even illegal to do that until this year. So I've been cleaning them out in the grass for 15 years, but um, kind of cool. So um, tonight, um, man, scary stories. We got to start yeah, off. I need a flashlight, like to. <laughs> yeah, we we should turn the lights off yeah. and have a flashlight, and we'll <laughs> 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 and we can um, talk and give our scary stories a while. Um, we're gonna give away some paint life stickers tonight too. Check it out. We got some nice. super rad paint life stickers. Um, we got. I got three different um here's here's another paint life there's another cool style sticker right there if you can see that one here's another style and i just ordered um four more i haven't even shown you john i ordered four more had four more made up different cool ones paint life ones some home improvement ones too so nice. yeah cool um there's our notes here's our notes for the tonight it's good to know or your notes We're um flying by the seat of our pants here. yeah just well, by i am <laughs> so um 
yeah, Lisa's actually answering questions in the other room. So if you guys got questions for Lisa, she's right there. Um, capstone painting, that's crazy. And I still clean them out in the grass. Um, yeah, I know there's no federal law about it. I know that it, it's state by state. So you do want to kind of check in with your state and see what the, the rules are and the regulations in those places. I know in Idaho, it's not illegal. We've never run into an issue with it no. in the in the grass long term. And it's not like we've just been doing this since yesterday. Right. And it's, yeah, like 50, I mean, 15 years. And I keep seeing these, those comments, dead grass, dead grass. Um, it's killed grass like um, two times in my career, and that was using a product called Emerald, yeah. and then we so, just quit using it. Yeah, I think it just depends on the product you're using and and what you're doing. You know, I'd be smart. Don't you know? Don't be a moron and just like start cleaning into a stream where there's like happy little fish <laughs> swimming around and trying to live their happy fish lives. I accidentally did that once in a canal. It was running down the canal. And I was like, "Whoa!" The, the canal was turning white, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Safety tip. Scary story. <laughs> we were by a canal, and I was just, the the ground was really wet, and the water. And all of a sudden, I seen the canal. You know, it was like all white, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" And it's like the back of Banbury, and it's going, and it's going along the houses, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" This is ah, it's crazy. Um, so I'm like, "Yeah, who did that? <laughs> Not me, mm-hmm. but um, some other painter." Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have a few, um, few scary stories and to tell you and, and along to go with that, you know, some safety tips and stuff. So Mm -hmm. Morales drywall is on. Um, hello, XC painter. He says American home improvements is on, um, DNA painting. Happy Halloween to everyone. Halloween's coming up tomorrow. Pro finish painting. Do we have any scary stories using a boom lift? Oh, do we? (laughs) Oh, let's what? You know what? Since somebody just asked that, it's a good let's, segue, Brian um, Lager. We'll talk about it right now. We we have, we did talk about it once on our live show before. So for some of those um, that have watched all of our live shows, because we, we we see some people like Chad Rockman and and um, there's Brian Wagner. He was a winner on um, Facebook the other day. A uh, guest, my how long I've been married to my wife, twenty eight years. Nice. So we've been married twenty eight years. So great job, Brian. Um, I messaged you. Uh, so. Um, Winners on Facebook when the question, Brian Wagner won, um, Kimber Hamilton, Cheryl Bouchard, Doug Goodman, and Sean Barrier. I messaged all of you and you won some Paint Life stickers. So, yeah, let's talk about booms. We were up in, um, we were in McCall, Idaho, uh, working and using a 60 foot boom. And it's interesting because there's only one boom in McCall, Idaho, and you got one choice. And there's a history behind this boom. And a long and sordid history. A, a long and sordid history <laughs> terrifying us on this boom. <laughs> this boom just, I mean, the boom shouldn't be a boom. The boom should be in the scrapyard. It should be melted yes. metal, really. It's a giant paperweight. Um, but we had no choice but use this boom mm-hmm. and rent it again. Against our better judgment. Uh, right. <laughs> well, Out of we, desperation. <laughs> yeah, and we were very desperate. And um, we were on this boom, had this thing. I mean, I remember, and um, usually John operates the boom for some reason. Um, I know how to operate the boom, but I don't know. You're always the one that operates the boom, seems like. And John's used them more than me. And so it's I always... because he likes it when I like shift it really hard and then he bounces against the it's good for his back yeah and so we it was crazy we had this it was a 60 i think it was 60 footer is fully extended and we were trying to reach this really high chimney it was crazy and and so we're doing this fully extended and the lake was right next to us so we had kind of a little grass um section um, it's like 75 yards wasn't even 100 yards away no i don't even i mean to me i would say it's like 50 yards okay 50 Um, yards away 50 yards to the water and um it was grass you know a paved walkway sand and then it just and kind of downhill and (laughs) yeah downhill so it it was on this slope i would say like a slope i don't know you know something like you know three to four percent and so and john was operating this lift we're way the heck up there it's just crazy and um this lift decided to um, just magically start driving to the lake. When we were extended all the way out, trying to reach this chimney that was way, oh way gosh. up. And so we were like reaching over a bunch of, of uh, shrubs and bushes and over some rocky area that we couldn't get to. And and Chris is out there and he's leaning way <laughs> over and he's trying to spray. With my harness on. <laughs> And he's trying to spray and trying to spray, and I'm like trying to get a little bit closer. And With I let, your harness on. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and so I, I let go of the controls because we're sitting there, and all of a sudden the boom just starts creeping back downhill, and I feel my heart just. <gasps> oh my! And I was gosh. just like, like 
in my mind, I can remember thinking, like, how do I tell Chris that we've got to jump? Like, we're <laughs> rolling toward that. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Man, and, um, and I remember, uh, you know, John panicking and then um, kind of like this terrified look in his face and then the booms driving towards the lake. And um, it's it's and, and I'm holding the controls, and, trying to get it to drive back, and nothing's happening. And then you stopped it at one point, and then it started doing it again. Started and and um and I literally, I mean the lake, it's in the lake, kind of it just like fades out into the water. It just kind of like and I'm the and I was literally thinking my options about jumping out <laughs> and um, thinking we're gonna have to jump. It's we're like, do you to... wait until the boom hits the water and then jump in the water, or oh, do you wait before? Do you jump before it hits the water? Those were the options that were going through our mind. At that and, point. and I think that was um, probably one of the top three scaredest times ever in my painting career ever. And I, I mean, I'm absolutely dead serious. I was thinking um, about jumping. I, How, we just got and that thing down as fast as we could was, and walked away. Just, they can come pick it up. We told them to come get their pile of junk. <laughs> and um, I, I um, yeah, I remember I called up, I called up um, the company and I won't name the company, but I told them I, um, in, um, a not very nice lang not a language, not voice that that thing needs to be go into the scrapyard because somebody somebody's going to die on it, and and I wouldn't want to have that on my hands. Somebody dying on that machine because um, I thought we were going to die that day. I thought we were going to die. It was a bonding moment. <laughs> so yeah, that was. Um, so what's the safety tip? Um, you know, you should always check your equipment. You should always make sure it's in good working order. You should just shouldn't get into it if it's not. Um, and, and, you know, in part of our defense, it, it had been working adequately up to that point, but um, obviously there was some maintenance that hadn't been done. So if it's not a rental company or a maintenance yard that you really trust, like that's, you're, you're, you are gambling with your life, right. essentially. So two red flags. I mean, these booms go up re really high. We, I mean, we ran them from 40 to 60. I think 60 is the, the largest we can run, but they go up to 120 feet and stuff like that. And it's crazy how high they go. And I'm afraid of heights. I'm terrified. I mean, I get up on those booms. I'm just terrified on a 40 foot boom. I'm afraid of heights, but you know, I'm a painter. <laughs> Imagine that. But um, two things. Um, the um, the joystick, it, it would stick and stuff and stuff and and it just um, sometimes you would be hitting it and stuff like that. If if the joystick is not working, I, I just don't think you should get on the boom. I mean, I think we should have just said, you know what, we just we're gonna have to find some other way. Another red flag: it leaked hydraulic fluid. If you remember, it was leaking some fluid. I don't remember that, but yeah, there was yeah. some fluid leaking. We we've had two times. There was another one that leaked yeah, on a driveway. Yeah, there was another one that was on a driveway, and I remember this. It just started doing the same thing. It started like drifting away, and that was one. One of the other guys was operating it, and um, I was like, "Well, has it been doing?" He's like, "Yeah, I got in it. It was having issues." He's like, dude, you can't get in this thing yeah. if it's not working right. Yeah, it's and, crazy, and that's a big deal. Like, you need to make sure like your equipment is working, especially that's that's big equipment. You can hurt yourself, and you can hurt somebody else. So, what does safety Sally say? Safety Sally says, um, just don't get in it if it's not working properly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, here's, here's um, I, I got kind of like a handful of things that um, terrified me in my painting career. And here's, here's another one. And John was working for me at that time. And John will remember when I started to tell him. And, and I was on a roof on um, so the, you know, a second story and had another kind of roof that I'm um, not too steep of a pitch. And I had, I think it was a six foot or eight foot ladder on that roof. And um, and uh, it was um, not secured, but I always secure my ladders now. So that so I climbed up the ladder, and the ladder was at kind of too great of an angle that I didn't realize. And once I started to get up high enough on the ladder, I was trying to reach something you know up high, and so I got up. I wasn't on the very top step because that would be a violation of OSHA rules. And so, but I was, you know, on the step below that and the feet kicked out from that ladder and that feet kicked out from that ladder. And, and I, man, I just, just hit that. I mean, just hit that roof, man. It was crazy, man. I hit that roof and I had my cell phone in my pocket. I remember hitting that roof and sliding down that roof. It was asphalt shingles and it just like shredded my pants and shredded my phone. And John came running around the corner because John thought I was going to, um, come off the roof and he was going to save me. 
was going to catch him. <laughs> he was going to catch me. And, um, I learned, you know, really fast. You know, uh, if you're on, you know, an A-frame ladder on a roof to secure that or have Absolutely. somebody um, there spotting the ladder. Now we have, um, you know, Pivot makes some tools. Yeah, um, ProVision tools, Pivot ladder tool. Like those guys make some great roof safety equipment yeah. for us. So, you know, we were just working on this, today. this huge house today. And it was all Tudor board, and they wanted it all French tipped. And the roofs, it was, uh, I mean, it had to be, what, a 13, 12? It, it was at least 12, 12. Yeah. It may have been 13, oh 12 roof. And um, they have their, their roof boot things and their, their um, I can't remember what the box the, is the, 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 um, the box is called, um, I think it's called the ladder the box. Pivot the, or... the pivot box? Yeah. Ladder box? Yeah, ladder that's what we're talking about, right? That little black triangular yeah. box. I mean, that's that, that that box is one of my top three best favorite tools um, in our painting vans. I, I mean, that box we use it inside, outside, all the time. And I mean, they just recently came out with their roof boot that it that helps hold that box oh in gosh. on a steep roof. And to me, that was one of like I will go up on just about any roof now if I can attach yeah. one of those in, and um, you can actually secure it to the roof. But yeah, just. You want to make sure you're being safe up there. But every time we go on roofs now, we're, we wear our safety harness. <laughs> uh, you, uh, so, yeah, you, know, you got to wear a safety harness. when. But, you, I mean, you have to go get on the roof to inspect where you're putting your safety harness right. first. So you have to walk on the roof without, yeah. you know, your harness. So, um, yeah, I mean, safety first. So, you know, right there, the, the thing, ladder safety, securing your ladders. There's your safety sit tip, man. And this is in, I don't know if you were watching, um, I think it was Instagram. This is crazy. And um, today, a guy on Instagram said he saw a guy die. He was working at a job site. The guy was on a roof up in the air, and the guy fell through a skylight mm -hmm. and died. Yeah. So that's, that's, um, uh, always be aware of your surroundings. Um, anytime we work around skylights and stuff, you can fall through them. They're just glass, so you got to be careful. Yeah, and I, I grew up around construction and building houses. I, you know, I remember we were I was working on a house, and um, the roofer next door on the the house it was a big subdivision we were working on, and the roofer fell from the second story to the first story roof, and then kind of rolled the rest of the way, and he ended up all right. But you know. That's not how you prolong your life. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, we got to give away stuff, too. Yeah. And um, I, I, I was asking my wife, like, how we're going to give it away. And now I don't even know how she worked it out. Um, so surprise, um, surprise. 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 Um, how do you give something away tonight? Um, we'll have to think about that for a minute <laughs> while, we're, while we're doing the show. Um, Let's see. Uh, so here's here's another scary story. Since it, it's it is Halloween. No, it's well Halloween's it's tomorrow. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. So we're talking about scary stories. We're getting you guys ready for Halloween. And we're getting you ready for Halloween and um, trying to help you so you don't get hurt. So I was, um, and I'm sure you've had this experience before. Is um, let's see, DH Shines paint leases on there saying something that was just OSHA rules. No, no bucket walking. That's true. Yeah, I never even liked bucket walking. So I I, I know guys that can do it. I just I've, no, I've done it and I've wiped out <laughs> so I yeah on a uh, simple little bucket and yeah. so I don't bucket walk so in <laughs> bucket walking is a violation of OSHA rules oh, yeah. so um, everything's a violation of OSHA yeah you gotta obey OSHA you know um, the, um, so I, we're working on wood roofs here's a safety tip and, and um, when you're on a wood roof um, we mm -hmm. work on them and they're dry and you know you can just cruise around like kind of like an asphalt I think they're li a little bit slicker than an asphalt shingle roof but mm -hmm. what happens to a wood roof when it gets wet wet well it's oiled and oil and water they apparently they don't mix who knew and um, uh, to me this is how I describe it when when you're on a wood roof and it gets wet it turns into a slip and slide yeah have you ever played not on the a fun slip and slide? Like <laughs> Have a you ever played slip and slide? A, a really bad slip and slide. Full and, of wasps. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, wood roofs, they they have like um, they get moss built on them mm -hmm. on the sides where uh, they don't get a lot of sun and stuff, and they don't dry out and stuff. Moss, lichens, whatever you call it, and it makes it really slick. Yeah. They're oiled. The oil makes it slick. Just the wood itself, because it's not like um, like sand, like asphalt shingles. It's slick. And so I was working on this house a long time. This was before your day and I was up there and it was three stories up and I was on this wood roof on one side and it's all dry but it was early in the morning and I just go cruising to the other side because I'm going to mask off a chimney and I'm like do 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 I get to the other side and 
I mean, lo and behold, my feet were gone. I mean, they were no longer on the roof. Oh, it's a terrifying feeling. And I was on my backside, and I was going down the slip and slide. And um, luckily, three stories up, the chimney was there. And so I caught on to the chimney. And But um, um, thank goodness I had my harness on. <laughs> Because <laughs> I would have been saved by my harness as I fell. Safety Sally would have been very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So, and um, yeah, I'll tell you what. That's um, that was one of my top three scariest moments painting ever. Mm -hmm. um, and so I I learned instantly that day when you're on wood roofs, you always um, you know go around, make sure it's not sun side that the wood is dry. You never if it just rain. We were just working on a wood roof, um, and you were out that day. Um, you didn't come to work for something. I don't remember remember what it was but um you had to stay home for your kids or something but um, i was on the wood roof painting the um the chimney way up there mm -hmm. and it started raining yeah. and i was like i need to get off this wood roof real fast yeah. <laughs> so now. now so don't stay up there here's and here's a safety tip when you're power watching on a wood roof don't work towards yourself because you're working towards the water the wood roof work away from yourself it's like you know rolling a deck don't paint yourself into a corner don't wash <laughs> yourself into death <laughs> have you ever slipped on a wood roof yeah i have yeah i'm um, nothing scary i hate wood roof. they're full of they're always full of wasps or bees or oh bugs and they're always slick and my pants get dirty and yeah. so i had this one guy um he was working for me and he was power watch, watch, washing the wood and i'm like dude you got to be careful because it's getting wet below you and you're gonna slip and Blam! His feet came out from underneath me, slid down, slam, hit the gutter, destroyed the gutter, and so I had to pay to have a gutter fixed. And um, yeah, just wood roofs are just crazy. I I just don't. I mean, they have wasp. I mean, it's like I mean, we hate wood roofs. It's I like mean, almost seven thirty. We gotta give something away. I know. Holy cow! It is almost seven thirty. Let's give away this Titan number? spray guide. Just write write a number. John, we'll, we'll just do the simple way. Um, my wife just texted me. What did she say? Mm -hmm. Giveaway time, but she never gave. I mean, we're gonna like come up with a better why just than a number. You can't let people see you, they can see you. Hey, and you gotta get down don't, here. Look. don't look. <laughs> so, write a number, John. Guess a number. Are you gonna go from one to 50 or Let's 50 go to 100? 50. One to 50. Went like one to 50. Oh, and Lisa doesn't. Well, you know how to. Okay, one to 50. So, John just put the number. The first person to guess the number one to 50 is gonna win the Titan spray guide. So, here we go. So, you just, um, I think I know how you do because you just yeah. like slide just up and down. Just make sure you stop it before it gets too crazy. And so, then you'll slowly work your way down and hope that somebody's guessed something. Right. One to 50, you can win a $75 Titan spray guy because mm -hmm. there, there we go. The numbers are starting to pop up. So, um, mm -hmm. I should probably let you handle the, the thing because you, since you know how to do it. You want to let them know what the number is? Um, let who know? We're the mm -hmm. ones doing it. So? Okay. No, we're doing it. Lisa, okay. I don't know if Lisa knows us. how it's all on us. All on us. It's us. I mean, I need to see numbers flying by and one I haven't seen... One to 50. One to 50. Oh, someone was close. I seen somebody one number off. Three people are close. I saw somebody mm. one number off. Mm. Whoa, I see another one. It's just two numbers. Whoa, whoa, I saw whoa, I saw, whoa, whoa. I saw I think I saw one. Uh-huh, maybe. <laughs> um, uh. Let's see you. Um, let's see, scroll up and go back down. Numbers right. are, I think the numbers are flying. Here, what are you gonna do? John's doing something. John's, okay. John's. You wanna announce it? Okay, John just found one. I think we got yep. one here. Drome, Drome Landry. Drome Landry. Is the well winner. Well done. Well done, Drome. You're the winner of the Titan Spray Guide. So, blam, there you go. We love giving away stuff. So, holy cow, numbers are going crazy. Crazy, crazy. You're going to still give away. Oh, chill out with the numbers, people. <laughs> Come on. It, no, we like the numbers. There's another one that just guessed it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're all too late. Lisa it says, was... um, giveaway time. We just gave away. Two. Number two. two. Can they see that? Yeah. So, we, so you know we're not lying. There yeah, you go. Two. It was number little, two. Little two. So to, um, what was your like top your top scary, scary moment? Um, one of your scary moments. You know, somebody asked if we'd ever had, um, if at B&K we've ever dropped a gallon of paint on someone's driveway. I, I think I can one-up you on that one. 
I know where you're going. Do you know where I'm going with this? I know where you're going. So this one's pretty good. Yeah, this, I, did, I totally forgot it about this. It involves another lift. I, it does. I knew. So one of the guys I jumps totally in a lift. I totally forgot about that. This was a pretty good Holy one. Holy cow. This is amazing. And we had been... So here's the deal. We were working on these commercial buildings. This will blow you away. And we could only work on them like Saturdays and right. Sundays because they were occupied. Well, it was middle of summer and we're already working crazy all week long. And I think we were like... 20 days without a break or something because we had just worked like three oh weekends gosh, back to was, back it was so crazy everybody was just fried and one of our guys jumps in the the lift because we've got a couple of two lifts actually that we're working on this place on and um it was towards the end of the day chris had to run out to uh to a meeting and he had i think he had just left this guy jumps up in the lift and starts driving it to go put it in position and all of a sudden i just hear this <laughs> bop it's just explosion and he ran over four gallons of paint that was sitting there next to the lift that he didn't see and there was paint <laughs> all over this stucco building that we had just just, just finished painting and there we pulled the masking and it hit was... it hit the building it got into the stucco it was up on the roof it was up on the gable above it and i just yeah. remember like oh no and like and there was no water nearby either. So we're like running <laughs> around crazy. trying to find one. I called Chris. I'm like, dude, you might want to come back here. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Oh, my gosh. I remember, I remember when I drove up, I was just like, I mean. Like, how are we going to fix um, this? Like, whole, holy, you know, um, man. Expletive. Holy ex expletive. <laughs> it was, I could not believe. Oh, and it was the I end mean, of the day, too. So we're all just like, no. And it just and it and instead of like shooting out over there where there was like no buildings, no, it right shot on the building. I mean, it shot on the building all over. And it. it's not when you run over um, a paint can, it doesn't just go and just on the ground. I wish no, it was, <laughs> it was pressurized like a, apparently. It was like a bomb, man. And it it, was it shot probably twenty feet from where he was with the lift and that pile of paint was, and oh just oh my gosh. Oh. Was that Ulysses driving that thing? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which, you know, he was kind of a grumpy guy anyway, so that he was in a pretty bad mood the rest of the day, too. So, it we, you know, crazy. we ran around, and we got some water. We started, um, I think we Cleaning started trying windows. to clean it off, irrigate it out of the stucco the best we could, get it off the roof, and we, had, we got it all cleaned up. I was yeah. pretty impressed that we got it all cleaned And then... Just resprayed that. I side. mean, I think we um, got it all cleaned up and resprayed it like within a couple hours. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it didn't set us back very far yeah. at all, like, you know. And you know, obviously the the safety tip there is you know make sure there's nothing around you when you jump in that lift and start operating. This. Yeah, who's ever operating the lift? Just make sure your path. I mean, determine your path. I mean, this is where I'm going to be traveling. Make sure your path is clear. You don't want to be running over your um, extension cords. You don't want to run over your airless spray hoses. You run that thing over and kaboom, you're going to be until you get off there. If you blow that hose up, um, yeah. you know, you're, you're going to have like paint spraying everywhere, a hose going everywhere. So you'll clear your path and um, you know, you just don't want to get on on the lift and start driving yeah and one of the things we do to help with that too is we we always try to get water set up, water hose with a nozzle set up very first yeah. thing when we get out on the job because accidents do happen and and you know um it, you know paint gets spilled and you you need to be able to take care of it quickly yeah and having access to water that that definitely helps that so was that, that one up spilling a gallon of paint on the driveway a waste harness good idea don't think i've seen um don't think I've seen one. And the harnesses, I don't know. They're not waste. They go, I mean, our harnesses go it's over. It's the whole, the whole chest thing. I don't think they have a waste harness. One of um, these days, I'm going to get one of the ones that just automatically retracts so you don't have, you know, 50 feet of line that you're stumbling over as well. Yeah, look at Rodney Redding said he had um, a homeowner run over his paint oh, buckets. <laughs> that's even worse. Uh, um, yeah, that's interesting because now that you brought that up, um, I remember I, I was we were painting on Warm Springs, and I don't know if you were working with me at that time, but we were painting on Warm Springs, and I had a five gallon bucket of paint sitting behind the large van, and um, I backed out, and it went underneath the van, and I backed out, and I started driving down Warm Springs, and it was underneath the van, wedged underneath the van, dragging, and um, yeah, that was that was crazy. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, um, whoops. <laughs> Where it's not, one of those times it's not great to have the big logo plastered across the room. Like it says, um, Lance's wall art gave us a super chat. Thank you very much, Lance. He says, hey, Chris, did you get my message today about Painter's Digest group on Facebook? I don't, did you see that? It's a great way.
way we can um, keep this chat going 24 seven and help each other out. You can also send your own pics and videos. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of groups out on Facebook, um, different painters groups. And yeah, those is, that's definitely a great place to plug in and kind of keep an eye out for what other guys are doing, ask questions, Yeah, um, just kind of see what's going on in the painting world. So now that you posted that on there, Lance, we will go and um, after this, we will check we'll out, check find out. your find your post and, and follow up with that. And if, uh, like you say, it um, sounds like it's something beneficial we will do it um what can i do for a shirt um you could win dance us a little jig <laughs> you um xc painter i he says he has a waist harness too so they must exist dna painting i tried to step in my paint pan at least a every couple <laughs> every couple years. years just to make yourself feel humble you gotta keep that that pride down <laughs> i i stepped in a few paint pans here what you gotta there. do is you make sure the apprentices are watching when you do yeah. it that way it's like oh I mean, who hasn't stepped in a paint pan? <laughs> um, I had a, a cat walk through our paint pan once when we were working on the interior, and, and a dog, and, and a dog, <laughs> and then we had a. Um, so this is this isn't um, uh, this is wasn't scary, but but it was gross. We had a cat decide to take a doo doo on our drop cloth once. Oh, just burn, <laughs> burn it. We're done with it. <laughs> Lisa says another giveaway. It is um, so we will do another cleaner. giveaway. Should we do um, a cleaner roll? Or save that for the end. Yeah, that's um, that's that that's a forty dollar value that the cleaner. So we are. Uh, I don't know if if anybody's tuned in late. We are giving away the um, clean and roll tonight, and um, we do still have a roller in there. Um, we should get, remember that. Yeah, <laughs> take our roller out. Um, that was an expensive roller. Um, but the cleaner roll. This thing you can clean it. Clean your um, rollers indoors. You can clean them outdoors. You can clean them in a five-gallon bucket. The paint's not going to go on the ground, so you're not going to make the environmental people that don't like us doing that. You're not going to make them happy. If it's against the law in your states, um, you're going to make your state happy, and um, you're not going to go to jail if you live in California. So, look, the one con with this, though, the, the thing... The, the one con with it is you don't get to laugh at your apprentices the first day out now when they start trying to clean a roller. Now they're not going to get messy. And now, I mean, now what are you going to laugh at? Them stepping in a paint pan? Because, <laughs> it, yeah, it's no... There, there it, it gives you a look on the inside. So it has kind of like this... Um, you can see you can see the, the water thing, the jets and stuff, the thing that holds it, um, the handle. Um, it, let's see. I messed around with it the other day. This, it yeah. turns like... Um, what makes it because yeah ours, the one we're using it just turns easily yeah oh you just, loosen it i'll loosen it just a little bit and then you can uh oh because ours is always unloosened then yeah and i usually have just kept it loose when i've been messing I around see. with it so i can adjust it to what it needs people are already getting crazy with it what if we're not doing numbers people you ever think about that <laughs> well what if we're doing something else and it's yeah. not even for you don't even know what we're giving away <laughs> so Holy cow, we're gonna have to We're giving all... you an air bubble. Here, because so, they're already doing numbers. Here, I got an idea. No, we're gonna change it up. All right, change um, it. I won't say what we're gonna do because then they'll start doing it first. Um, what we'll do is we'll give away two um, two corner rollers right now to one person. These things, the corner rollers are awesome. Um, so John, get ready. So I'm gonna write on the corner roller um, something. Give me a, a marking pen right there can't guess 50 million that's not even <laughs> fair I, that was what i was gonna write was 15 million yes, you win. so um a letter from the alphabet Ooh. 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 so the first now person to, the first person to guess the letter of the alphabet that's gonna be I, way harder to find in here um <laughs> the just one letter so you got to write a letter of the alphabet i should have made it two letters so it'd be harder to guess because there's not as many letters in the alphabet is there true. But um, so you just got to be letters fast. letters in the alphabet, now they don't even know what to say. People are like but, going, what's the alphabet? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what if they're there's from... There's a song. There's a song oh, about there, it. There's a few letters. I see a couple letters. Uh, Look at that. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> People figure it out. I saw that. I think there was one above that. Like, scroll up. Um, holy. I'm, I'm scared to scroll up. <laughs> People figured out the letter thing fast. Um, Apparently. Okay, I see. Is that the first one? I think that might be the first I'll, one. I'll write it down. Okay, let's see. Um, and then you can scroll down. See how many people are guessing. I think that person's oh. won something before. Got Whoa. quite a few guesses. 
See, the letters, well, those are way harder to read. <laughs> <laughs> they are. So we, okay, have, we have a winner. We have a winner. Winner, winner. And I wrote, dinner. winner, winner, chicken dinner. I wrote letter M. Lem, capstone painting. Capstone painting won two corner rollers. So there you go. Bam. I, don't know, I mean, obviously people know they, um, Lisa is on the chat, you know, answering questions and stuff. So she's here just in the other room. And um, no, we're not in a fight or anything. Because <laughs> you, you, you know, something. His husbands and wives do fights every now and then. <laughs> like, this is my first. G- I don't know. Right? <laughs> she's she's just in the other room, just hanging out. Um, so answering questions. It's so because we were both out working today, and we don't so we don't smell very good. Yeah. <laughs> right. So um, what? Um, here we go. What the heck are we doing here tonight? Uh, we're we're talking about oh, scary stories. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, we're talking about scary stories. So um, let's see. Here's uh, let me see. I'll tell. I'll tell. This is. I want to talk about because this is a good safety tip, and I want to talk about this story. And it kind of scared the heck out of me, and then it um, scared the heck out of me. You know, for several reasons because I thought the guy was going to be injured bad, and then because I don't ever want to see any of my employees and um, knock on wood. But um, I don't know if knock on wood really does anything. Here's some wood. I mean, does it really do anything when you knock on wood? Uh, no comment. <laughs> so I'll knock on wood anyways. But um, I, I haven't never had, I've been in business for 15 years and I've never had an employee get injured on the job and um, have to, um, well, you know what? Now that I remember somebody, um, remember um, the guy cut himself and he fainted when he saw his blood? Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't remember who it was. I remember uh, it happening. I, don't well, remember I think it was Danny. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but he cut himself. But no, he did. He just went home. He went home. Right, he just went right, home. Right. That's right. Yeah. Cut he, himself. He, he cut like, himself, oh, saw his own blood, and I he don't fainted, feel so and good. and he had to, he had to have his parents come pick him up and stuff. But, I did. Um, <laughs> so, um, but no, I haven't had any claims. Um, we've had people you know fall off ladders and stuff. We try to. I always teach and preach you know ladder safety and stuff. But here's one thing, man. And it, it's happened to me. I think. I mean, I have to say. 10 times or more and because I just get in a hurry and that's your ladders have the, the little um, I don't know what you call the locks you just press them down you know so your ladder um, stays open and it, you push it down and you the lock spreaders, it leg spreaders the leg spreaders and if it's if it's up just a little bit some really bad things will happen to those ladders and this is the craziest thing I mean you'll get up and I and I call it ladder snapping and you'll you'll start to walk up the ladder walk up it really fast and it will twist and it'll twist and snap and it literally throws you off the ladder and this is the craziest weirdest phenomena and like if one side's locked and one side's not it does that and mm-hmm. and it's happened to me a lot of times and it happened to matt um was working for me climbed it up and got went up to it really fast and it snapped and it threw it and he like flew off and then landed completely flat on his back and just went Wham on on the guy and I was like, oh my gosh! And the first thing I think, oh my gosh, he just broke his back. And I mean, I get terrified, and and it has nothing to do with working comp. It's about you know my guys. I mean, the guys are like my family. Everybody goes home at the end of the day. Yeah, and that's what we preach: is everybody goes home at the end of the day. And I mean, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything outside of your comfort zone. And I mean, you know. And, and this was what was crazy about it is, I mean, I, I, my heart just, you know, just went out my chest and, and Matt was, he got up and he was, he was more embarrassed than anything because it was right there in front of him, watched him do it. And he was fine. And I'm like, Matt, man, you got to have your ladders locked, man. You got to make sure they're locked. And, and I grabbed the ladder, walked over <laughs> right next to the house, set it, climbed up and it snapped <laughs> and I flew off of it and hit the you, air conditioner. You whistle haunted <laughs> ladder. Possessed. I remember hitting the air conditioner on my side, man, and just like, God, I mean, I was like, oh, on the ground, just, oh, uh, just, and, you know, I didn't even practice what I just preached. And um, so, I mean, practice good ladder safety, man. Have those ladders locked, man. It's, um, it's, it's crazy. You got to, you got to be really, really careful. Um, we got 15 minutes still. We got some time um, to talk. It should to be like, you safety. know, it's like a bunch of painters getting around telling like campfire, like, like, Ladder spreaders not shut all the way. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah. Um, and and, <laughs> and let, let's um get we'll get on some other um ladder safety. We had um state ladder uh safety Sally, you know, talk about ladder safety yeah. the other day. I mean, safety Sally came to our job site yeah, and um. Sally. 
I hadn't cut her hair in a while, and you know it was looking all bleached blonde, old. looking yeah. kind of cute and everything. And beach. yeah, if you <laughs> if you haven't seen Safety Sally, I mean, I don't know. You have to go back on Instagram, scroll down a little bit, and you might see her. But um, was setting ladders in, um, you know, in the grass. I mean, have you ever had any experiences with um, twenty four foot ladders or anything slipping or anything that scared you at all? Because I got uh, a story, but you know, I have always been pretty anal about making sure my spikes are set all right so th this was before i was a painter so i didn't even know so um i have an excuse but, yeah. so this was it's legit this was like even when i was in college and i was i was painting for my father-in-law and they had a um w w my wife and i lived in a, a condo complex they lived in i was painting the place i didn't even know i was going to be a painter i mean it's kind of weird um but i set the 24 foot ladder i didn't know anything about ladders and i was on concrete so i had that 24 foot ladder set and i had it at too great of an angle. I climbed up that 24 foot ladder at the very top and I was painting by hand. I didn't even know what an airless sprayer was. I was rolling and lo and behold, the ladder was at not the right angle. So if it's if it's at too great of an angle, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Bad things, disaster will strike. Disaster will, and that ladder, sense. it kicked out from underneath and that thing just came down. And one thing I learned- Ride it all the way down? I, I learned, <laughs> it, don't jump. I mean, if you're on the lift, you might wanna jump. The ladder, just hold on to it. And I just held on to that thing and it just slammed, hit the ground and oh my gosh, man. If I would have jumped, I could I probably would have broke a leg broken an arm or something like that but I mean uh, you got I mean your ladder you have to know the angles that ladder cannot be at too great of an angle this way because it'll fall backwards or this way or kick out but when it's on grass what do you do with the ladders John set the spikes there's little spikies spike toes on the the padded feet and you flip it over and those spikes yeah. on the grass and... and and I didn't even know so I, I didn't know I mean so for do-it-yourselfers out there that are watching the show if you just lift that ladder up the feet kind of like they kind of like swivel and one end has spikes and the other end has rubber if you're on grass you don't want that rubber if you just take the ladder and all I do is you flick it back and forward like that and the spikes will hit the grass and we safety Sally shows how to do it and actually, Safety Sally didn't couldn't even do it right, and so I had to show well, Safety Sally. She's having do it. Some, some wardrobe malfunction issues. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, Safety Sally does know how to do it, but she was too self conscious about her hair. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, and so all, and so if you're on grass, um, mm -hmm. in um, dirt and um, bark stuff like that, set your spikes. Yeah. If you're on concrete, what do you do? Always the padded feet down. Yeah. Always padded feet down, concrete, um, asphalt. Yeah, yeah. The rubber. And like if we're working on an interior or something like that, and we've got a wood floor, we always put a, a non-slip mat underneath it as well, so that because even with those hard rubber f uh, feet, they can slip out. And you know, when we're training our new guys, I, off the top of my head, don't quote me here. I think it's supposed to be 17 degrees that your ladder set at. What I tell our guys is you should stand with your toes to the ladder set your arm out and your palm should rest at the rung that comes close to your shoulder and that's where you're supposed to be at as far as that's not too uh not too steep or not too shallow for your angle where the heck did you learn that at i think i picked it up from osha actually occasionally i do learn something from them. i must not listen to that class. that's why you got that me. was one of those classes i was right really sleeping in um i went to all those classes i think i went to all those classes with you we, we went to osha's classes yeah, and so um yeah, um, yeah. Somebody didn't like me and on YouTube and um, called OSHA on me. It's another scary story. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that was that was interesting. Um, we're gonna have to give something. We gotta. Oh, the, I'm supposed to um, open this up right here. So uh, we got this thing sent from um, Colors and Space. Is that what that says? Colors and Space. Yeah. Colors and Space from um, what is that? That's Canada. Canada. Somewhere Ontario, Canada. S somewhere Ontario. So they, and it feels like stickers. Um, so if you guys have stickers, somebody asked me on Instagram, can they send me stickers? We'd love your, um, for you guys to send yeah, us yeah. stickers. Uh, we collect um, stickers. I've seen these cards before. Um, we love to collect stickers. And if you give us two, we'll give one away. I'm going to eventually do a live show when I get enough of them where I just give away other people's stickers, give you a shout out. Mm -hmm. And then if you send us stickers, we will send you stickers. So it's kind of cool. Look at this. Um, what I think they're business cards. Are they business cards? That's a cool idea. Luis Pereira. Um, Colors in Space. Luis. Luis at colorsinspace.com. Um, Mississauga? I don't know if you can read that. I think it's Mississauga. Um, 
yeah, and this is, I don't, um, kind of cool. Check out, here's his, um, there's a sticker right there. Sweet Colors in space. Nice. Nice sticker. It has, um, Instagram colors and space there. has, so that's his Instagram. Colors in space is his Instagram right there. So you can see his Instagram. Well sent done. us Very creative. Sent us four stickers. Thank you very much for the stickers and very creative cards. Um, if you want to be different with your business cards, that's, um, kind of cool. So, yeah, um, we, we can give away some stickers right now. How about let's, um, we'll give away, um, we'll give away these Paint Life stickers right here. Um, this one right there. So, um, we'll, we'll, let's see, we'll do take and, um, we gotta be fast. Okay, just, we'll do a number between, um, 50 and 100. So 50 and 100, we're gonna give, um, you know, we'll give out the first three people that guess the number we'll give out a sticker to. There we go. Done. Go, people, go. And then when we send out those stickers, we also give you a kind of cool, we send out a, a, um, a thank you card that's, you know, signed by us and um, kind of cool. Sometimes my wife throws in some other little things here and there. Brian Mrs. Wagner. Mrs. Saga. Um, Sorry. So what, what's the number? Um, 86. You better control it because we got to figure say it. <laughs> See if anybody, nobody heard it. They missed it. Look, nobody's guessing it still. You better stop. <laughs> that was about the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to show it to me. Are you like showing it to me like it's all over? Nobody's guessed it. They didn't hear me. <laughs> oh, man. Look, see? Well, there's one right there. <laughs> he already uh, won one. I think. Didn't he win one? Yeah, he won some. He won some too. The other guy won some too already tonight. You guys, you get a. Uh, there was someone before that. Is that one first? Uh, we'll find out. No, so, some people caught it. Did they catch it? Man. Oh, I mean, man. Really? That made me laugh hard. <laughs> I mean, how dumb can you be? <laughs> <laughs> that was trying to be nice. Uh, Give him a hit. So right here, oh, did you find? I think I just saw one. The number was eighty six. Eighty six. <laughs> if you didn't catch Chris saying it the first time, um, I mean, I saw like the. I I thought those there was two people that already won tonight. I guessed it before yeah, I even said one, it. One right before then. So um, let's see. Who sent me four minutes last giveaway? Lisa says. Um, yeah. We well, we got seven. Oh yeah, that clock. I always go by that clock. That's why. Um, are you finding any? I can't find where it went. It went too far. There was two right next to each other. Yeah. Whoa, there's one right there. Where? Oh, yeah, that's the first one. So, Ron Thrall. Ron, Ron Thrall's Thrall. a winner. Ron Thrall is... Email us. Well, I just said three. Oh, three. Uh-oh. Go back up. So, three. We got Ron Thrall um, is the first winner. And... Um, we talk about it. Um, and I'm gonna get ready to do. Sorry, guys. We're looking for the numbers. Let's. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, where's. Um, what you looking for? Um, I'm looking for something to talk about. <laughs> well, we got one more giveaway, right? And yeah. What's that one gonna be? Um, yeah, we're gonna be giving away the. So um, we opened it up to clean Which... and roll. I um, saw um, the, the guys that, that make the clean and roll, they popped on and they corrected they? me on how to adjust it. And I remember reading that that's how you're supposed to and thinking, oh, yeah, you push down on the handle and then move it. Oh, right, my gosh, right. right? It's like saying 86 out loud. Holy cow, they had to correct us online. But see that that, that just goes to show you we are new with the thing. The thing's brand new, and so we're here um, testing it out. So you're gonna see us testing it out this week, and we're gonna be giving away one on one of our social media this week. So you gotta stay tuned. They are once again they're thirty nine ninety nine on their website, which is cleanandroll.com. Um, there there they were. That was the one. Yeah. So capstone um, American Home Improvement seventy nine zero one. And then. Um, so it's that one right and there capstone too. painting capstone painting and um american home improvements you're the winner of those stickers Amer america home improvements you guys won the number was 86 i mean if you didn't hear me say it 
I mean, re- read cool. art. He's Man, like, I haven't um, laughed that hard for uh, um, <laughs> So the, the clean and roll, there you go. Um, it's it's a good thing that they jumped on and told us. That shows you how new we are. I mean, we're, we've um, just used it a couple times. I, I remember reading that and thinking yeah. like, oh, perfect, because before I couldn't figure it out, and so I was, was kind of messing around with it. I was like, oh, just untwist it, and that's how you do it. But yes, much easier if you just push in and yeah. twist it over to the right side. Right there, you just push it down. So... Um, yeah, it's um, very simple, easy to use, and um, so so far we. I mean, I think winter is coming up here Winter's rapidly. Coming, we're, we're starting in um, doing interior painting next week next for week. the rest of the winter. We won't touch anything on the outside. So um, yeah, and we're gonna be testing this thing out uh, this um, this next week. Interiors. We'll, we'll try it out inside and outside to see how well it works how well it performs for us and we'll let you know we'll shoot you some live video and stuff like that we're gonna be putting some pictures out there online giving one away the code if you want ten dollars off on this thing ten dollars off use the code idaho and go to clean and roll let me type um here you can type clean and roll dot com dot net dot net clean and roll, clean dot, and net. roll dot net i mean you we, i mean really i can't even say that right it's like we act like we're just beginners here at this this is our first day <laughs> Um, Brian Wagner says, go if, capstone. Look, look, if you guessed 86 before, like, it's hard to read the numbers and find them. We're doing the best we can trying to figure <laughs> out who's going first. Don't don't crucify us here for if you were first. But. Um, yeah, because I, I kind of spoiled it. Let's see. Time to give away, she says. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're running out of time. We're going to give it away. How are we going to give this um, away? Should we give the number away to them? <laughs> should, we just, should we just tell them the number and then say, guess the number? So we could just say the number is two. The first person that gets two wins. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see. Um, what can we do? We'll look at the clean and roll here and see if I can come up with an idea of how we can guess. Um, we could say two letters, but then that would take a long time to guess. Or should we just do one letter and just end it? Make it one letter. Should we just do numbers? How about the, the first year? So... If, if you can tell us what year that Pamrick Enterprises came out with this, you can win it. And here's a hint. Oh. It's on their website. The first person to tell us the year Pamrick came out with this. Pamrick Enterprises. Why don't you type in Pamrick Enterprises? If you can, um, it's uh, right here. If you, I'm sure you know it off the top of your head right there. Pamrick Enterprises. Go look it up. Did you type it in already? Yeah, got it in. Oh my gosh, you're that fast? So now they could just like cut and paste that. The first person to type in and um, so you better start watching. No, no. Let's see, there's some guesses. Here's here's the years guessing. Years are starting to, whoa, here comes the numbers fast. What year did Pamrick Enterprises, Pamrick Enterprises, is the um is the LLC the company that created this? Clean and Roll is their website, cleanandroll.com or cleanandroll.net. Don't go to .com. And then if you want ten dollars off to try one, if you live in California, live in one of those states where um, John's typing it in to find out himself. Yeah, he was right. I had to verify. John had to verify. I, I recognize his name. Yeah. I, I wonder how so. he knew. Did he know? You know, I blame it on, you know, those engineers. They're just kind of weird. Yeah. Andrew Slovasek won. Well done, Andrew. Well done, Andrew. 2011. <laughs> so these guys have been around. They've been doing it for a while. They've got all the kinks worked out on it. And even how to adjust it without untwisting it, apparently, as we just realized. Yeah. So um, this thing wasn't just created this year. It wasn't created um, six months ago. It wasn't even created two years ago. Yeah. So... Yeah, they've been working on this, um, you know, uh, like John said, working out the kinks, making this thing work. And uh, so far, bam, that's heavy duty plastic. Watch this. That was hard. Yeah, dude, you're going to hurt me. Like. And it's um, and it didn't even break. Check that out. So that is heavy duty plastic. Um, should I even, should I like jump on it or do something even crazier? You know, I need you to help me this week with these <laughs> exteriors. And if you break your ankle... Or break my wrist. Or break your wrist. Yeah. I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Solid plastic. So 
Um, heavy duty plastic, the thing's pretty strong. I don't think it's gonna, in our a van, is as abusive as we can be. I think it's gonna last a while, so. And I'm um, really looking, especially, guys, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to using something like this in the this winter when it's just such a pain to clean yeah. the rollers and to just be able to do it in the sink at the end of the day. Now the guys have no excuses for not cleaning them at the end of yep. the day. Yeah, so we're looking forward to using it, testing it, and letting you know what we, um, you know, after, you know, long extensive testing. I mean, we, we go through, you know, a testing. It takes us six months or more to, like, put something through all the different scenarios out there to know, you know, you know, truly how well it is and stuff. This is a brand new product. And so far what we've tested, we've, we've liked all the different ways, you know, and all the different options you could possibly use it for. So we're probably pretty excited to, you know, um, put it through all those different options and it's going to take us a while, but we're going to show you some of them this week. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Live and with pictures and, and videos. We're going to throw some videos on Instagram, one minute videos. If you don't, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, Idaho Painters. Mm -hmm. Follow us on um, Facebook. Facebook is now just taking off, growing like crazy. We had 350 people yesterday, you know, follow us um, on Facebook, The Idaho Painter. Pinterest, we may be giving away one on Pinterest, so you got to follow us on Pinterest. Um, and then we're on LinkedIn, too. And then we're on also a bunch of other little things. But those are the main ones, man. Make sure you follow us Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Oh, I said Twitter, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're on Twitter too but we're not going to give it away on twitter um one of the other ones so yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed the show yeah if you guys did like it if you appreciate it do give us a like on the the button um if you're you're liking what you guys are seeing on facebook on instagram you know feel free to share it does help us out it kind of gets stuff out there and um lets us know what you guys like and, and what you guys want to see because we don't want to just keep putting pictures of i don't know trees if you don't want to see trees <laughs> and i'm gonna at the end of the video i'm gonna be putting a link to i mean the clean and roll site so mm -hmm. easy to get to down in the link we always in in our videos at the end of our videos um all the tools and accessories we use you typically can find them on our tool store at the idaho painter.com mm -hmm. um, where we have all kinds of other tips and tricks you can't find on youtube and and on um, facebook and twitter or, or instagram so go check out our website the idaho painter.com on youtube subscribe um, by clicking the subscribe button hit the little notification bell that way you'll always be notified when we go live yep there we go okay, we're out. so we're getting ready to sign out of here for the um evening and go um i don't know what john's gonna do but i think i'm gonna go watch um the um somebody says eagles um thank you um for our oh thanks to Andrew Slovasek for, um, hey, and he even won. He super chatted tonight. Shad Owen for giving us a super chat. And Lance's all wall art for giving us a super chat. And now we're going to get out of here. John hasn't even been home. He came straight from work right to the live show. And now he's going to head home to his family. Bam, we're over and out. Bam.